This is Josh Friedman outside Idomeni, Greece, along the Greek-Macedonian border. Today is March 20th, 2016. It is the last day of winter, and it is day one of a new agreement between the EU and Turkey on managing refugee flows. Right now, there are about 10,000 asylum seekers trapped here at the border. I'm going to head to the border now to explain how we got to this point. Last year, about 850,000 migrants and refugees made their way from Greece to Central Europe across what was called the Balkan Route, or the Western Balkan Route. They went up through Macedonia, through Serbia, at first through Hungary, but then Hungary closed its border and they veered off through Croatia and Slovenia. Well, last fall, restrictions were imposed by some of the Balkan countries. At first, what was announced was that only Afghans, Syrians, and Iraqis would still be granted passage. But then this winter, people kept on coming and restrictions were gradually imposed until the route was shut down completely. Afghans were no longer allowed to pass and then some Syrians and Iraqis were denied passage and just about a week ago the route was shut down altogether as the EU was striking a deal with Turkey. That deal, which came into effect today, states that migrants and refugees who arrive at the Greek islands will now be sent back to Turkey. In exchange, Turkey or the EU has agreed to take in one refugee for every one that is sent back to Turkey, although the details are still being worked out and there's a lot of disagreement on just how involved EU countries want to get with Turkey. But as that deal came into place, this border right here was shut. And this is where the Balkan route was closed off, apparently permanently. Back when Macedonia put up this fence late last fall, the refugees who were allowed in would line up right around here and walk right through. They'd cross and then head up to the Macedonian town Givgelia on the other side of the border and then continue their journey. Now it's a bit of a playground. The refugee camp here at Idomeni is full of children and families. The demographics have changed tremendously since last year. Last year on the Western Balkan route, up until about December, it was mostly young men and there were people coming from all over the world. Last fall there were people here from all over Africa, a dozen or more countries in Africa, from Bangladesh, from Iran, from all over. Now most people here are from Syria, Afghanistan and Iraq. There are some people from other countries, but mostly Syria, Afghanistan, and Iraq. And they're continuing to come in large numbers. In the first couple months of 2016, there were record numbers coming in even though it was winter. There have already been about 150,000 arrivals by sea at the Greek islands this year. That is well ahead of the pace of last year when more than a million asylum seekers came to Europe. It is unclear A, what's going to happen with the people in the camp here in Idomeni and B, whether this migrant deal between the EU and Turkey will really work. There are no signs that this border is going to reopen. There are increasing chances that Greece will bring in police and buses and try to bring people back down to Athens or other places in Greece. Don't know how that would play out, but that has already happened after the people were, who were not Syrian, Iraqi, or Afghan were denied access last fall and early in the winter. Greece police came in, rounded up the asylum seekers who were not welcome and sent them back down to Athens and a lot of people still remain in the country. There, there are thousands of people here 
who have no plans on returning to their home countries and they for the most part no one wants to stay in Greece so it's totally up in the air how the EU and Turkey are actually going to manage this a lot of people are skeptical of the migrant deal that's been struck a lot of people say it's just going to fall apart we don't know a lot of people in this camp remain in very tough shape some have been here for a month or even longer although winter is ending and the conditions are improving a bit in separate videos i'm going to give you a tour of the camp and we're going to be doing more interviews with people here that's it for now i am signing off from the border that was shut that put an end to the western balkan route goodbye